Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be putting on a full face of new, hyped up, popular makeup. Obviously, this is the look that we created, so I'm gonna teach you how I got this look. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Morgan. Basically, my channel is a guide to all things makeup, all new releases, all of that good stuff. Today's video, really excited because it is in collaboration with my friend Brittany Raquel here on YouTube. If you are coming over from Brittany's channel. Hello. I love Brittany. Brittany and I actually collaborated back in November and we're back to do another collab. Since the last time that we've collabed, she's actually found a lot of success. She's hit some major milestones and I cannot be more proud of her. For my subscribers who don't know, she actually was on Instant Influencer, a James Charles YouTube original show and she did so awesome on it and I just, I'm so proud of her. So definitely go check her channel out if you have not. She does a beautiful makeup look. She is so great with her artistry. Like, I cannot do the looks that she does. I'm more of a beauty kind of style makeup, natural, enhance your features. I tried today, but uh, she's so artistic, so creative. And most importantly, she is a genuine, kind-hearted person. I am so thankful to be collaborating with her on this video, so make sure you go check out her video and her channel. I will link both of those down below, and just brace yourself because in the next clip, my face is gonna be bare. So, let's get into it. All right, y'all. I don't know if you noticed, but um, there's this thing called a pandemic that's happening. So honestly, not a lot of new makeup has been that good. So a lot of the stuff that I picked out, it came out in the last, you know, couple of months. So maybe they're not as hot and fresh as I would like for them to be, but uh, we have external circumstances here that I have no control over. If you are a regular on my channel, I've talked about the majority of these products before, but I think what's really useful about kind of this circumstance is I am forced to really use this makeup. I'm trying to use popular makeup that got a lot of hype, and then uh, I can actually give you my real thoughts instead of just trying them out for the first time. Like, I know what I'm talking about because I haven't had any new makeup other than this stuff to use. So, uh, yeah, okay. It's toggling between two primers here. We have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is not new, but it got a lot of hype recently. And then the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I think I'm gonna go for this one because it is so bomb, you guys. I really like the e.l.f. too, but I think this one's been hyped up a little bit more because <laughs> she's like way too much money. But I have to say, if you have the money, it really is a very nice primer. It's going to be in this month's favorites video. So just a little sneak peek there. But I've been loving this primer. It's very moisturizing on the skin. And it really does smooth the texture of the skin. It, it just feels good to put on. And I think that's probably the reason why I like using it so much. Because it just feels nice. But it's so relaxing. I have dry skin. And the fact that this is also moisturizing, it's a big deal. So Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. I love this. I did not like the one in the original. Like, it was like this, what this is based after. I like the e.l.f. more, I think. The liquid version, super good, you guys. Honestly, I just don't have a new foundation at all. I feel like none have come out recently. So I'm gonna use my Bite Change Maker foundation. So I'm gonna, we're gonna fast forward through this. Y'all know how to put on foundation. We're gonna make some magic happen. I'm gonna do my brows off camera because it takes me 20 minutes and <laughs> I'll be right back. Brows are on, I feel so much better as a human being. Concealer, I don't have a new concealer, but I am gonna throw on the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I still get questions as to whether or not I like this concealer, and I do, I think it's nice. I like to mix it with just the regular e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Also, this is darker than my skin. I don't know, these shades are weird, okay? So I did just mix that light color was the regular e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I just feel like the mixture of the satin and the regular have the perfect combo because the regular one it adds just a little bit more coverage and because it's lighter that's what brightens everything up and everything that the satin lacks the regular camo makes up for and vice versa and then all together once you blend it out like I look better now my nose is always super red so I'm just gonna pull out like a concealer there can't forget to hide my friends from you as well. So there haven't been any cool new powders that have come out. So I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Labs Under Eye Blur Setting Powder. I mean, this is relatively new. It came out this year, right? If you haven't tried this powder though, seriously game changing. The most blurring, lightweight, finely milled powder ever. My subscribers, you guys know this powder is it. 
it's the best. I haven't shut up about it and I look for literally every opportunity that I can to talk about this thing. It's so good. And I don't want to over powder because I'm going to head into the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzers. Of course I had to pick these up. Everybody, every time Fenty comes out with anything, everybody goes crazy over it. I did pick up the shade Amber, which is gray. And I just, I don't feel like dealing with that today. Sometimes I'll use it to shade a little bit more, but we're just gonna use Butter Biscuit. I use the butt of my beauty blend and this is a cream so you want to make sure that there's no powder underneath which is why I'm doing this at this step right now I also look dead so it's nice to add a little bit of something else as well I like this bronzer because it's just so emollient like it blends out super well onto the skin this shade in particular on my skin tone it's just a couple shades darker which I really like because it just it looks so natural and pretty these are really good but you do need to set them because if you have an oily skin type at the end of the day, you could look a little bit scary. So when I do my blush, we'll set this. But I actually want to get into my eyeballs right now. So for eyes today, we're going to be using the ABH Norvina Volume 4. This just came out. By the way, um, if you are keeping your nails nice looking during quarantine, good on you because no anyways so this just came out and honestly you guys it is so stunning i had to get my hands on this i do have a review of this up already i did three looks but there's so many colors in here i want to do another one so i'm actually gonna do this eye first and i'll replicate it on this eye so i'll be right back this looks kind of crazy in the monitor um it's gonna look so good when we put lashes and all of those doodads on um but anyways we're gonna start off with my absolute favorite shade in the palette c4 which is this lavender color it is so pretty and it's really good quality uh, a lot of times with these shades sometimes they can be you know so so this one's not bad to work with at all so this is our base shade we kind of want it to peek through the look so make sure you put it up really high really blend it out there i guarantee you we will be dipping back into that shade to bring the lavender back out in the look while i'm at it we're gonna pop this on the lower lash line as well i swear like this in itself is a look we're going to brighten this look a little bit up with a3 this pulls much pinker on the eyelid but it just brightens up the whole look and makes everything look so much more fun and notice how I'm focusing the color on the inner and outer corner of my eye and then I am kind of meeting those two sides together and keep packing and blending also going to put just a little bit of that down here then to deepen everything up a little bit we're taking some of e4 i wish there was plums and stuff in here this palette is missing plum colors but i'm going to focus that once again especially for this step you really want to focus it on the inner and outer corner because we're trying to add some depth into this look also repeat that on the lower lash line leave the center though this time now we do want to add an actual shadow this palette doesn't have a lot of shades that can add those natural shadows i am gonna take b5 this is a little bit grayer and not quite as deep as i wished but i'm trying to work with it as you blend the colors together they start to get a little bit muddy which is honestly kind of what i wanted because that creates a little bit of depth because this color does not match the colors that i have on my eyelid at all but because they kind of disagree with each other it does start to create that shadow i'm not putting this on my lower lash line don't do that that would be ugly but just to create a little bit of a shadow and then to kind of make it look a little bit better i'm taking the shade i used before that kind of putting that on top to hide the muddiness okay so this is the dangerous step that i can't talk you guys through because i gotta talk myself through it but i'm using my elf 16 hour camo concealer and i'm going to create a halo cut crease kind of thing it's all about holding your breath that's my magic trick hold your breath and cross your fingers I'm gonna take the shade D4 right here, which is a shimmery light purple shade. And this is gonna start to add some life back into this look. I took this outside bit of the concealer a little bit further when I would have liked, but it's an easy fix. I'm just using a small brush and this shadow doesn't have too much pigmentation. So I like this brush cause I'm like digging into the shadow to get the pigmentation out. So just fill in those areas. Obviously concealer is hard to blend into eyeshadow. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a moment. 
Also take this color and put it right in the center just to give a little bit of glimmer when the light hits. Then we're going to take some of C2 right here for that pop of brightness in the center and also to highlight the inner corner. So just in this area that I left. Guys, I'm not as talented as Brittany. Okay, I haven't done any type of cut crease look in a while, as you can probably see. I'm definitely more of the, about the blown out kind of style, blown out and blended. But I haven't done a cut crease on my channel in so long, I just couldn't help it. I really wanted to. Um, okay, so I'm going to take E4, which is not the dark brown, but the second darkest color. And we're going to work on blending these edges together so that we don't look quite as crazy. And instantly, do you see just by doing that, like, we're all good. I know we're looking crazy, but you know, liner and lashes and all of that will come. But we're going to go into uh, blushes. So for blush, I told you I wanted to use cream blush. So of course, we're going to use the new Fenty cream blushes that just came out. I'm going to use the shade Petal Popping today. I have three shades, but I think this nice pinky color is going to look fantastic. If I had that lavender color, that would have been really good, but I didn't buy it. So smile, again, I'm just using the butt end of my sponge and I'm applying this to my cheeks. And then kind of blend this up into the bronzer because it just looks cuter that way. And a little bit on the nose, because again, cute. So remember how I said these creams benefit from being a set? Today we're going to use the new NARS Paradise Found Bronzing Powder. This is stunning. This is actually a re-kind of packaged limited edition Laguna bronzer and it has this beautiful gold overspray and I'm going to keep that on there for a little bit because I just think it's so pretty. So I'm just going to kind of grab it from the top here where there isn't that gold overspray. Not really trying to pick up color or anything. I'm just trying to pick up some powder to like suck up some of the oiliness that this cream can cause. Just like that, just a little bit. Laguna bronzer is a good bronzer. Also, like this is just so beautiful. And to highlight and kind of get a little bit of powder on the cheek, we're gonna use the Ofra highlighter in Start Inspire. This was a collaboration with Samantha March. It came out a couple of months ago, but a lot of people are getting it in PR, so it's still getting some hype and it's really gorgeous. Now it's really pigmented too and very bright so like tap the heck out of this brush I mix both of the pink and cream color together and I'm just lightly going to highlight but if you like a really blunt like dang like yeah all right I'm just gonna I tried to go light and not make it too glowy but how can I not you know this beautiful thing okay so boo I mean like Dang. So I'm gonna put on some liner and lashes and then we will be back to finish off the lips. Lashes and all that good stuff is on. It totally transformed this look. We're gonna move on to lips. So Wayne Goss, a really renowned makeup artist, he came out with his whole lip collection. I uh, bought the whole thing. <laughs> so I just picked the colors that I wanted to wear today. So I'm gonna start off with his lip pencil in the shade Natural Berry. And then for lipsticks, I decided to go with the color Lily, which is one of my favorites in the line. It's very natural, pinky kind of lip color. And then for gloss, I'm gonna go with the color Antique Rose because it's glittery and I love glitter. I'm gonna put that right in the center of my lips. I'm gonna get myself together and I'll be right back. But yeah. All right, guys, there we have it. This is the final look kind of all put together. I really love it. Purple is my favorite color. So any purple look I'm like in love with. But this video was so fun to do just playing with some new kind of hyped up makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys go check out Brittany's channel to see what products she used and what she thinks of them. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I sure do hope you take the time to do so if you would like. I hope you and your families are continuing to stay safe and healthy and all is good with you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.